The mini zap kit comes with a ground cable, standard air tip, fast rise time air and contact tips, the TPC2A contact tip, the primary component for IEC 61000-4-2, and other compliance testing, AC adapter, and a self-discharge tip and standoff tip. We'll open up with the self-discharge tip used to generate an electrostatic field. The fast rise time tip is used to plug into the main unit and then the TPF uh, self-discharge tip itself is required to go on top of that fast rise time tip and then you'll go ahead and stick this little mini ground cable into the side of the TPF and into your main unit. We'll use this $15 multimeter not to display an over exaggeration when the, when the display goes wild but because it's the only piece of uh, inexpensive electronics I'm willing to part with shall it meet an untimely death. We'll set the power knob to 20 pulses per second and holding the air discharge button labeled normal so it doesn't feel inferior to the contact discharge button, we'll initiate the discharge. And making sure my ground connector is good, I don't like to crank down the TPF, uh, we'll still get plenty of action. Uh, we probe around the unit finding almost no response. I move around the connectors in the bottom where I would expect issues being a direct path to the guts of the electronics but still nothing. So I'll uh, go ahead and move up here near the screen and we'll see that the readout starts going crazy. Okay, we're gonna move into the air discharge tip but the gun is ungrounded right now. Watch, I flip it on at about two feet. Watch the meter go wild. All right, now that we have the unit grounded, power knob to one pulse per second, voltage knob maxed out at 15 kV which uh, represent level four of the air discharge requirements in the standard. I'll probe, which should be done at a higher frequency, but when I tried it with this multimeter, it goes into overload. If you're wondering about the setup, I have a tabletop uh, from the ESD environments we manufacture with a horizontal coupling plane built in. Uh, it was manufactured recently, and you'll notice uh, we were working on the top of a thin layer of protective film. I'm moving uh, an insulation foil here to better represent the standard. Uh, with my contact tip in, I have the gun set to single shot setting. I'll manually apply discharges to the vertical, I'm sorry, horizontal coupling plane. Uh, this portion of the test seems less strenuous on the device, but have uh, heard of failures occurring in this test method after passing the direct injection portion of the tests. Click on a thumbnail to review other similar ESD simulator models or visit us online or contact us directly using the links posted.